If you're dealing with any kind of issue in SOLIDWORKS, here's a quick way to gather up a ton of useful information to send into support. SOLIDWORKS RX is a separate program that installs with SOLIDWORKS. It's under the SOLIDWORKS Tools menu, but I usually just type in RX in the Start menu to find it much more quickly. There's two safe modes you can run on this first page, and I like to run those if you're crashing, because if either safe mode fixes the crash, then we know immediately where the problem is. But the first thing I want to show you is the Problem Capture tab. Let the system refresh when you get there. You can push that dialog aside if you want and keep on working while it refreshes. And if the issue that you're having is reproducible, such as it crashes every time you draw a line, then click Start Capture. It'll fire up a session of SOLIDWORKS and you can recreate it to that crash or to the behavior you want to show. It's going to capture the video as well as everything that's going on in the background. And just tell it when you're done, it'll create the video and include it in the zip file. Now, if the problem is more sporadic, like it crashes occasionally, just click Package Files Now and we'll get crash logs from that previous session and any other information on the health of the computer that's available. Now, this is key. If you capture this right after the crash and before you start SOLIDWORKS again, it's going to give us the logs, the dump file, and all kinds of great information, which is really ideal for troubleshooting crashing issues. Send us that zip file, and it's going to save a ton of time in diagnosing the issue and finding a solution. Now, SOLIDWORKS RX is not just for problem capture. That's probably the most powerful and useful tool, but there's several other features that are worth exploring. For example, the Diagnostics tab runs some standard checks on your computer for common issues. Now, if you get an error like this one here with the graphics, it probably just means your internet is a bit slow or maybe the server timed out. So check your graphics card driver on the website directly using this link. The graphics drivers are tested and crash data is analyzed to make sure that the tested and approved driver they post on the website is the most stable driver version that is available for your computer. So that's the one we always recommend you use. Back in RX, there's some basic system maintenance functions that are available. Uh, things like clearing the temp files, which I find helps a lot when you're dealing with simulation result issues. The Reliability tab shows a graph of recent SOLIDWORKS sessions, including how many times you crashed or closed normally for the past several days. And additional information is available on each day for the crashing, so you can see what might have caused it or if you're seeing some kind of a standard trend. If you are experiencing instability, the Reliability tab is the quickest way to see just how bad it really is and show uh, people in your company or support uh, what you got dealing with. Now, if the crashes don't show up on here, but it is crashing, let us know that too. That actually does help us to narrow down the problem to other types of issues rather than software installation, for example. There's a benchmark tab too. That runs a series of operations to test the speed of your computer. And you can use that to see how fast it is, compare your scores with others online, and see if you have any room for improvement by buying a new computer, or you can kind of confirm that one computer is running faster or slower than another one. As always, if you're experiencing any issues in SOLIDWORKS, please reach out to our support team at SOLIDWORKS support at mlc-cad.com.